Minnesota Department of Human Services Background Studies. Net Study 2.0 Accessing Background Study Notices and Documents. Welcome to this Net Study 2.0 video based training. This training video outlines the use of email notifications to inform providers that new information is available and how to access the notices and documents maintained in Net Study 2.0 as well as share some of the main functionality of the system. For a written transcript of this video, select Show Transcript from the YouTube menu. For subtitles, select the Closed Captions or Settings button. As a reminder, due to ongoing enhancements to NetStudy 2.0, you may notice slight variations between the images captured in this video and the version of NetStudy 2.0 you use. Now with the housekeeping out of the way, let's get started. For this video and in the NetStudy 2.0 system, the term entity refers to the NetStudy 2.0 user at the program, facility, educational program, or other entity that initiates background study applications. The Background Study Sensitive Information Person, or SIP, is set up with permissions in NetStudy 2.0 to review all background study notices and determinations for providers assigned to the SIP's user account. If the SIP wants additional users to review notices and determinations, the SIP may set up additional users in the system. The roles define what information the user can review or access. For more information about user roles and the permission to review background study notices and determinations, refer to the NetStudy 2.0 user manual. Detailed instructions on how to access the manual are at the end of the video. For information on account creation and management, Refer to the training videos for creating and managing user accounts. Links are in the description below. The SIP, end users the SIP established, will receive email notices based on their roles to alert them that a new background study document or a new determination is available in NetStudy 2.0. The email notice includes the study subject's application number and general instructions about how to review the information. No personally identifiable information is sent in the email. To find the background study using the application number from the email, select the Applications tab in the toolbar, then select Recent Documents. The Recent Documents queue contains all recent application notices and determination documents that have been issued to study subjects whose background study applications were submitted under your entity. In the Application Number field, under Filter Options, enter the application number from the email notification, then select the Search button on the left side of the screen. The documents associated with that application will show as Linked Files under the Documents column. To review the document, select the link and the document will open in a new tab. The entity is required to promptly read background study documents. Promptly reading background study documents is important because certain notices require immediate action by your entity, including, in some cases, the need to supervise or remove a study subject from a position that allows direct contact with or access to people receiving services. The entity is responsible to ensure that all background study actions are promptly acted upon. Background study notices and documents can also be accessed on the study subject's person summary screen. To review the documents on the person summary screen, select the study subject's last name from any of the queues. In the person summary screen, select the documents tab. Here, you will be able to review the notices and documents that are associated with this application. To review a notice or document, select the link and the document opens in a new tab. All notices in NetStudy 2.0 are permanently maintained in the system and you are not required to maintain printed copies of background study notices in personnel files. State and federal licensors, surveyors, inspectors, and investigators may access pertinent background study data and notices as needed and will verify background study compliance through the NetStudy 2.0 system. 
Thank you for your interest in this portion of NetStudy 2.0. Additional information is available in the NetStudy 2.0 user manual. To access the manual, select the Help link in the upper right corner of NetStudy 2.0. Then select the NetStudy 2.0 user manual link to open it in a new tab. Copyright 2022. State of Minnesota, Department of Human Services. Produced by Minnesota Department of Human Services. 444 Lafayette Road, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55155. 651-431-2000. Toll free, 800-657-3663. Toll free, TTY, 800-627-3529. Video phone, 651-964-1514. Website, https colon slash slash mn dot gov slash dhs slash. The Minnesota Department of Human Services, DHS, prohibits discrimination in its public services because of race, color, creed, religion, political beliefs, national origin, sex, public assistance status, marital status, age, sexual orientation, or disability. Direct discrimination complaints to the DHS Civil Rights Coordinator at dhs.info at state.mn.us or 651-431-2000. Individuals with disabilities may request reasonable modifications to receive DHS services by contacting its Americans with Disabilities Act coordinator at dhs underscore ada at state.mn.us or 651-431-3040.